I'm Chess Smith, and I <sighs> hate surfing. <laughs> Certainly you've seen the news that uh, Stephanie Gilmore and Carissa Moore are officially off tour for 2024. Let that sink in. Stephanie Gilmore and Carissa Moore off tour. Two of the greatest surfers to ever live, to ever paddle out into the ocean in a singlet to compete against other professional surfers are off tour. I don't know what the world looks like going forward. I don't know how anyone moves forward. Here's the thing. Was this retirement for both of them? Now let's go back a little bit. Carissa Moore announced first her retirement maybe four days ago saying in a beautiful video piece that she was finished with professional surfing, that she was going to go on and explore new horizons. Days later, two days ago, Stephanie Gilmore said, I'm done too. Just for a year, she said, I'm done too, but I am stepping away to explore what else is out there. Now, were these two icons, were these two greatest of all times pushed out to pasture? No, they chose to go out to pasture. They chose to leave professional surfing behind and why? One answer, the World Surf League, right? World Surf League reformatting the tour in such a way to make it entirely uninteresting to even attempt to compete. Who's going to go out and win at lower trestles? I don't know who cares. That's the point, right? Who cares who wins anymore? And so we have two chosen retirements, two, Carissa Moore, Stephanie Gilmore, height of their game, peak of their prominence going out. Now let's look at the issue of Lisa Anderson. Lisa Anderson maybe didn't be forced to go out. Lisa Anderson though is a goat as well. The greatest of her generation, maybe the architect of women's surfing as it appears and looks today in general, right? Lisa Anderson is a treasure. And yet, Roxy, Roxy. Not the Roxy that you know, but the Roxy of Authentic Brands Group. Roxy, who is now just a license, just those two mountains and waves put together into a heart. That's all it is anymore. There's no heart there. Lisa Anderson has been cut. Okay, there's a lot of issues about how much professional surfers are owed, right? How long a career are they uh, owed by companies, by corporations paying millions upon millions of dollars over time for their services? Well, I will say, most professional surfers, they're not owed much, except for professional surfers who actually make a brand. Now, let's extrapolate this out to athletes in general. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is owed forever from Nike for what he did for the brand, right? Of course, Nike was involved in that, but Michael Jordan was an icon. I will say Tom Curran is owed forever by Rip Curl. Tom Curran made Rip Curl what it is today. Lisa Anderson is owed forever from Roxy. The fact that Authentic Brands Group doesn't recognize this, doesn't think that this is true, for shame, for shame. So, three icons leaving surfing. Carissa Moore, Stephanie Gilmore, Lisa Anderson. Two, on their own volition, because the World Surf League has more or less wrecked professional surfing. One, because the industry that was purchased now by Authentic Brands Group or owned 90% of it by Authentic Brands Group is done. Surfing, what happened to you? And that's why I hate you.